What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and today I have my October favorites for you. A lot of you have been very interested in this look I've been wearing, especially on Instagram. So we got a couple eye products, we got a concealer I've been using, some lip products, some sunglasses I've been wearing. So before we get into it, if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right. Let's get started. I'm gonna switch it up and just jump right into the makeup this time. Uh, I've been using this concealer right here for the past couple months. This is a new product for me, but I think this is like an OG YouTube concealing product. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Custard. This is a pot cream concealer. Now I have been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for years and years. This is my go-to concealer. I'll you know, jump into other ones once in a while, but this is one that I always have in my stash, and it's just a great everyday concealer. And maybe about six months ago, maybe even more, I saw Claire Marshall talking about this concealer here for I believe like her under eye. And I just had never tried this one out, and I thought, let's give it a go. Like it says in the title, this is a soft matte concealer. So even though it's a pot concealer and a cream concealer, to me in my mind, that would make it greasier, but this is actually an oil-free concealer and it is super light. I like to just apply all of it with my fingers, so I apply it underneath my eyes. I usually, what I'll do is I'll kind of pat it all on very lightly and not blend. So I'll pat it onto my eye, on my nose, down the bridge of my nose, um, around my nose, because I get redness around there, and then, you know, so much in. Around my mouth is where I kind of like conceal a bunch, but even so, I mean, it looks like I'm putting on a lot, but it's really not that much because it is quite a lot of coverage for how little you're putting on. By the way, I'm so freaking mad at myself about this pimple that I have developing here. It was one of those things where it was kind of like a blackhead-ish thing. And if I would have just left it alone, it would have been fine. It would have been totally fine. But then I got out of the shower like two days ago and I saw it and I kind of like picked at it and I messed with it and then the skin tore and you know, you know the rest. Now it's a full blown pimple. But anyways, this is pretty much all I have on my face in terms of concealing. I don't have foundation on. And then I set everything ooh, with my Pat McGrath Lab Skin Finish Sublime Perfecting Setting Powder. So light one under the eyes light, medium too, kind of in other areas. Blend it all out and that's what I got going on my face. If you are a normal to oily person, I would recommend this concealer. I know a lot of people actually just use it for their under eye and then they'll use, you know, like this concealer for the rest of their face. I kind of started off doing that and then I just graduated to using it all over my face because it's so easy to use. Just pat it all over with my finger. I've applied this concealer now multiple times in the car on the go. It's a very easy thing to just pat, pat, pat on, blend out. You can really layer it too. If you're just trying to do a little bit, just like bloop under the eyes and a little bit on the nose like to conceal some redness, totally fine. The one downside I guess you could say is because it's in a pot, it's not necessarily very hygienic. My nails right now are very long because I'm gonna go get my nails done right after this. Maybe should have done it before. Um, so I don't know, maybe once it gets down in there, my nails might start getting in it. That would be my one complaint. But I feel like textually, I couldn't see this in any kind of other container. So for now, works really well and I like it. I'm feeling very tongue-tied, kind of tucky right now. A little bit distracted because I just drank a bunch of coffee and it's currently surging through my body. So let's keep going. My eye makeup has been very requested. So the thing that I introduced that is new to this look is this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Ray. Now I've talked about these in the past, but I have never used this particular color. This actually came in their holiday pack so this is like a little mini version. Here, I have a full version over here. I'm sitting at my like vanity right now. I've actually never sat here to film a video. So this is actually very convenient because I have all my stuff right here. So this is a full size. This is the little mini. I mean, I use this one all the time and I've hardly even dipped in. So the mini is gonna last a very, very long time. This comes in a trio, like I said, uh, in the holiday pack. They also have a full size of this color as well. It is kind of like a champagne, but 
It has like silver and gold flecks in it. It's a little bit of a cooler sparkle than I usually go for. I usually go for a full on gold sparkle if I'm going for that look, but I really like this kind of like warm champagne with the silver flecks. It goes very pretty on the eyes. Um, I first used the Super Goop uh, Shimmer Shade in Sunset. It's their like, you know, brownie kind of color. So I use that as a base all over the eyes and then I just kind of pack this on with my fingers. Obviously lately, the past few months, I've just been into makeup that I can apply with my fingers. It makes things very easy. A lot of time I'll just pop this on, put on some mascara and that is my whole eye look. But lately what I've been doing is I've been using liquid eyeliner. Yes, you heard me right. I've been using liquid liner, which is crazy. This is the Sephora Colorful Wink It Felt Liner Waterproof in Cup of Joe. This is a felt tip liner in dark brown. I've been really enjoying a brown liner. It is so, so fine. You can really get in the lash line. Cause when I apply it, I don't go all the way in and I wanna make it real, real thin, real small. I'm trying not to make it a big wing. I just wanna darken up, especially the very edges of my eyes just to give me a little bit more depth. I've been using this liner a lot lately because my eyelids have been very even for some reason. Um, I'm sure a lot of you <laughs> struggle with this. Uh, this eye is always like a hooded eye and then this one will, no, no, no. This one will be double and this one will be hooded. I think they switch off to be honest. And you know, when your eyelids are not even and you put on some liner, it just looks like insanity. Like you could see full on eyeliner in this eye and no eyeliner in this eye. So for a while I just abandoned all eyeliner. I was like, F it. Um, I like the look of just shadow and some mascara anyways, but eyelids have been really, really even. They're like super double eyelids right now. I think it's like lack of sleep. Also, you know what? I've been crying a little bit more like l late at night because <laughs> I've been watching like one episode of the new Queer Eye season in Japan and it, I mean, any episode of Queer Eye is gonna make me cry like profusely, but the ones in Japan, especially that first one, um, I just lost it, just bawling. So when I cry, sometimes my eyelids even out. <laughs> you know, these are happy tears, but even if they were sad, there's always a silver lining, I guess. Anyways, so I have been using this liner a bunch. A lot of felt tip liners are not that precise. They can't really make that fine point, but this one definitely can. And the price point is great compared to a lot of other ones. So if you're looking into just a general felt tip liner in black or brown or whatever, this one is great. It also lasts all day long. I would really like though to find um, a bit of a lighter brown, a little bit more of like a noticeable brown. Cause this one, all the brown liners that I found online, cause I really scoured the internet and Sephora, they're all really, really dark. I would love to find a warm brown, little bit lighter liquid liner. So if you know of anything, please let me know. I even bought something off of um, Amazon that had pretty good reviews. Oh, it smelled terrible and it was like a uh, pot brush tip thing and it didn't, it was like all clumpy and weird. So that did not work out for me. So if you have any recs for me, please let me know in the comments down below. But if you're just trying to find a nice felt tip liner, this one's great. I got two lip products for you. So let's talk about this one first. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. Been a big, big fan of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask for a long time. I got three of these currently in my home along with some minis. One in my vanity, one next to my bed, one in the bathroom, I just always have to have this around. I love it. So moisturizing, doesn't you know leave any weird uh, films or anything, doesn't dry them out, wears beautifully. I feel the same way about this, but this is more daytime friendly. I will say this is not as long lasting as the lip sleeping mask, but that makes sense. This stuff like will stay on your lips is a thick product. This is a bit of a thinner product, more of a glossy product, so it will wear off more easily than the lip sleeping mask, but it still lasts for a long time. Been really into this just as a sheer balm gloss. And the lip product I've been using for a little bit more color is what I'm wearing right now. This is the 
Kosas Wet Lip Oil in Dip. I don't know if that's how you say Kosas. Kosas. I don't know how else you would say it. This is a pretty new brand for me. I've tried out a few of their products. It's definitely my favorite line of products that they have come out with. These glosses are great. So this is the one in Dip, which has a little bit of a color to it. It has a little bit of a kind of goldy champagne shimmer. Not too noticeable unless you're like really right up close. It's just a great everyday kind of nude for me. It actually is like really a perfect nude. The gloss is nice. It stays on for a long time. The texture is not sticky at all. It's very comfortable to wear. Also, I would like to mention this company's packaging for their other products and this are so cool, so unique. In terms of packaging, this company is freaking killing it and I really enjoy the gloss. We have one skincare item. So this is the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. My skin's been a little bit weird lately. I've been getting some little dry patches. There have been a lot of fires in Los Angeles, which has made the air quality really bad. I feel like that's affecting my skin. Also, I went to Sedona, which is like the high desert. Very, very dry. So even though I got oils coming out, I also got a little flakiness going on. I've been using this stuff for the past, like I wanna say month, a good solid month in the daytime, along with my moisturizer as well. I'll use like the fresh kombucha concentrate, then I put this stuff on, and then I'll put on like my regular moisturizer and SPF. That's like my morning kind of face routine. This just adds a nice extra bit of moisture to my face without being super heavy. If you're an oily person, or actually just any skin type, if you just need a little bit more extra moisture, but you don't wanna add any oils or heaviness to your face, especially in the daytime, this is a great option. This product is a very lightweight serum that sinks into the skin so fast, but is very hydrating. It has plant-based glycerin in it. So plant-based glycerin works as a moisture magnet and pulls essential moisture into the skin. It enhances the water holding capacity of the skin and ultimately helps to provide skin elasticity and plumpness and facilitate epidermal barrier functions. Like I said, if you need a little bit more extra moisture in your face, you know what? It's also the changing of the seasons. That's what's going on. It's getting colder. You know, your skin needs a little bit extra. This is a great product. I've been using it in the daytime. Also been adding it to my nighttime routine once in a while as well. It's just a really great lightweight serum. Also, before I forget, I want to mention this because I feel like people are going to ask, I'm wearing the Ardell Wispies. This is like a five pack that I got from CVS and I just cut off a good chunk of it and just have kind of like the outer two thirds of my eye with the lashes. I'm realizing now that lashes are a lot easier to apply than I had previously thought because before I was putting lashes on like, I don't know, three, four times a year, <laughs> maybe more than that. But I just, uh, it's always just an extra thing for me. I've been setting aside a little bit more time to put on the lashes and I really love how it looks. So especially with this liner, I, I love the look of a bit of lashes to really open the eyes up. So yeah, just the ones from CVS. Oh no, sorry, the Demi Wispies. Sorry, these are the five pack of Ardell Demi Wispies. <laughs> we went to Vegas for Jen's birthday at the end of August and I had a little treat yourself moment at Saint Laurent. Uh, and I got myself these sunglasses right here. Now I really scoured the internet and hopefully maybe I can find it, but I couldn't find the exact print of these glasses, but I found the style in a solid black, which actually I saw at the store and I was really about to get those, but these had just come into the store and the salesperson was very good and convinced me to get these ones. So they have a bit of like a, ooh, like a zebra kind of print, I guess, on it. These are kind of like my perfect cat eye sunglasses. I don't think y'all know how long I've been looking for a pair of sunglasses like this. I'm very particular about my sunglasses. I don't own that many pairs. They don't hit my cheeks at all. Huge issue for, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Asian people that is, my worst, I hate that. I hate that so much when it hits your cheeks. This one doesn't, it sits really nicely on my nose. I'm just so happy I found these. They are my perfect cat eye sunglasses. This is my ideal shape of all time. So if you're interested or you've been searching for that perfect pair of cat eyes, go into a store, try these on. You might fall in love. Last thing I want to mention is an article of clothing which is on like the opposite 
side of the spectrum from like a pair of like Saint Laurent sunglasses and that is my Hanes shirts that I've been wearing a bunch. It's my Hanes Comfort Soft Tank uh, in large, men's large. You can find them on Amazon in packs of, I don't know, five, I think, uh, Target, wherever you can find ribbed white tanks. We're not calling them wife beaters. Don't know how the hell that name came about, but it's horrible. It's a terrible name for an article of clothing, uh, but yeah. I've been wearing these like crazy. Works great, just tuck them into my jeans. Uh, if you want to crop it, go ahead and crop it. I just tuck it in. It really doesn't cost that much, so if you wanna kind of do whatever you want with it, cut it up. Uh, I don't think that you're really gonna have any issues with that. I own quite a few white ribbed tanks, like from ASOS, they have those basics. I did, none of them really worked out for me. A lot of them were like too high. Um, or way too tight across the chest. I, I don't know. And then I would try to go to Target and the selection of shirts is so overwhelming and they're like in the packets. So I just didn't even want to mess with it. It was too overwhelming. I didn't want to like open it up. Finally got this one in large and totally worked out. I wasted so much money on white rib tanks to be honest. So if you were looking for a perfect white tank to wear alone, underneath stuff, to crop, the Hanes Comfort Soft <laughs> tank in large is great for me. If you have like my chest size, I'm wearing an unlined bra, I'm in 36D. By the way, talking about my bra just reminded me of my own video. So here's a shameless plug of my own video. If you haven't watched it yet, I did a try on haul of Savage X Fenty bras try on so you get to see them real up close and personal if you haven't seen that video i'll put it up in a card it's a really good one and i talk a lot about my own boobs so why not hello everyone wow editing stephanie here from the future i have never done this but i left something out of my video that i wanted to mention so here we are i apologize about this but i really wanted to mention these pair of hoop earrings i've been wearing these are the estee lalonde Daisy collection earrings. It's her second collection with them. They're just a really beautiful pair of gold hoops with this like stamp detailing in there. If you're just looking for a pair of hoops to wear from day into night or all day long, I would say go for these ones. I've been just wearing them nonstop. Love the size, love the color, love the little, little extra detail. So yeah, back to our regular outro. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We are almost freaking halfway through November, which is wild. Uh, I got some cool videos coming up for ya. I vlogged Sedona, so that will be coming up. I'm not sure if this, I think this video is coming before it, but I have a Sex Smarts episode on sex toys, which should be coming out, I believe, right after this video. I think right after it. Also, if you have any like holiday themed videos you would like to see from me, I don't know, gift guides, holiday lookbooks, Anything outside of those two things, please let me know. I wanna do some holiday content for you, but not sure what you wanna see. So comment down below what you wanna see from me. Thank you again for watching this video. I really hope you are having a wonderful November so far. I love ya, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.